Darlene! I'm here! Darlene, where are you? I'm here! I can't, I can't find you in the big <laughs> I'm in the side vestibule. Oh, oh, I'm in the front vestibule. Oh, there you are! Oh my god! This is a chance you could get lost in. I mean, it's a huge... The base is over there. It's got a full vestibule with a separate door. It's uh, got a nice rain fly, a skylight, a, heck, a pentagonal skylight. It's just a beauty. We hope that you're going to enjoy watching us put this up as we stumble along through it, because this is a first for us. This is probably the biggest, baddest tent. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> it's got side vents. It's got uh, guy outs. It's got all standard features. Everything except air conditioning. <laughs> And we're building our last tent of the week today, so we wanted to share it with you. Uh, it took us a while, and we kind of had to muddle along, especially with the rain fly. What else? Um, the important thing is just to lay it out, get all your parts ready, and be patient. Okay, let's get to work and show them how to, how to put together a Bass Pro Shops 12 by 20 Y-shaped family tent. Right. So big you can get lost in. That's okay? Right. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll never lose you, my dear. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> okay. Here's a great thing to do when you first get a tent is look at the instructions. This particular Bass Pro Shop came with a lot of nice instructions. Let's see what we got here. We'll stay the holes here. I think these are going to be the long poles to go over. No. I guess we better read the instructions. Yeah, just insert the five equal length fiberglass poles into the hub. Here's Darlene demonstrating the, uh, the other side pole. Main thing is to make sure you stick it in the wrong end that it's not wiggling. This is the big end, and that's the little end the whole chair. Not bending very much, but it'll bend later when we put this in, it'll force it down. So those are going to have steel poles in them. Okay, here's the last one. So they're basically going to straddle the sides of the uh, side windows, except this one's going to have two. Okay. All right, we're clicking around here. I think we're going to have to take a couple of these down to the pin and lift it from one side or the other. Oh man, this is going to be a hoot. <laughs> Here we go. We can get three and muscle up the rest of it. Yeah, I'm going to try to put this one in. Okay, I'm in, I'm holding the hub and I'm lifting. Let me just check the camera, see if we got enough height on it. Yeah, I think we do. Okay, here's the final pin. We're pinning them in the small pins because the big pins are probably for the steel. Okay. Okay. Now we're clicking in. Yeah, it's pretty huge and we don't have the uh, side rooms up yet. Let's, uh, why don't we do this right-hand side room next. Um, we're going to angle over here and do the side room now. There's three of them, but we're going to do this one first. I'm putting the pole into the hub and raising it, pushing the pole towards the pin. I'm in. And click. And now we've got one room. Oh man, it's got a separate interior door. It's in. Okay. I got mine in. I 
I'm lifting up and toward the pin. I'm in the pin. Okay. Wow. Look at that thing. This does not have a door. This just has a window. The other end has a door in it. Pretty easy? <laughs> I wouldn't want to do this at night. Okay. Well, we got one more. Let's, uh, we won't bother with the details of it. But. With this, I can feel it's got a lot of pressure. You want to use big stakes. Well, that was easier than I, than I thought. We were, uh, we're new to this tent. Here's the other side of it. You can see it's got three big doors. Huh? Look at the vestibule here. This is a main door. I guess the other one has a main door. And then that other little side door doesn't have a door. So how many doors do we have on this thing anyway? Try this open so you can see. Standard tile. They probably give you extra ones for the screen or the door, but I'm just doing tie-offs. Oh, here's a clicker. What do we have in here? Oh, man. This, this is a tent. <laughs> Gorgeous. Is that big? Yeah. So that other uh, Y area is just like a part of the main living room. This is a little private vestibule or something. Let me go inside and see what else we got. I guess that is the main entrance. Maybe this is the main entrance because it's got a mini door. I guess yeah, this is the main, the main entrance. Yeah. Well, this is cool. Look at this thing. It is it's cool. Huge. It has a lot of nets. Here's our uh, back window. By the way, let's talk about fancy touches. You can't see these little yellow um, pulls, but I suspect they're glow in the dark. I'll be the tent peg out here, but you can see, kind of held like this, gives you uh, ventilation, even in the wind, because it's uh, the rain can fall on it and you still get ventilation. What do you think, Darlene? <laughs> it, yeah. yeah. I know, I make a better tent peg than I do a, <laughs> a tent man. I knew I, you were going to say that. I didn't say that. Okay. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this setup. We did it from scratch, never having put this one together. Essentially, it's just like what? A puzzle. I was, I was about to say it's like a standard dome tent, but it's got five poles coming out of a hub. And then you add the three side rooms. You could do it. You could absolutely yeah. do it. I you just, just have to be patient yeah, and, make and a, lay out all your parts. This is definitely one good to stake in before you put it in. Um, that way it stays in place as you go. Oh, well protected from bugs, and we can see the sky. It's got mesh all over. Final words? It's a beauty. Until next time, this one is the Bass Pro Shop Deluxe. I think it's 20 by 15. It's a Y-shaped tent, very deluxe. We hope we'll see you on the trail sometime. So, Mr. Tent, saying goodbye. Darlene. Bye now. Happy camping. A lot of people could do happy camping in this tent. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Shall we throw the fly? I guess we have to. Okay. Well, thank heavens for Bass Pro Shop. Bring that here, darling. We found a little tag that says front. We were all puzzling. See that? So at least now we know where the front is. Okay, we're going to give it a go now. Well, we got this side of the fly. Now we just have to figure out how to get the rest of it over. We're just going to kind of muddle along. Okay, I'm over, the, uh, I'm over the post. Here's another tip. If you've got uh, tie downs and stuff, loosen them all the way first. That way you're not stretching them at the last minute. And click. You can always tighten them up later, but you don't want to be fighting a, a tie off that's, that's not set right. So, I've got my Velcro up top. I really want to bring it down farther like here. And now I'm going to Velcro just below this uh, connector if I can. 
get it in there. The reason that I know it has to go here is because the, the big uh, big plastic thing is too big for the Velcro to go around. Okay, I think I got it. See, here's the trick. We had them tied in earlier, but then we ran out of slack on the other end. So we see how she's releasing as much as she can. Then she clicks in. And then after you've got it the way you like it, then you go around. 